Hey guys, Todd here with my rocket. What the hell is that? You say this is a bully smoker, uh, bully smoker, the king of vapor. Um, right, uh, the bully smoker. Uh, I this was the first rebuildable I ever owned. First one, uh, two weeks into vaping, uh, I got straight into rebuildables, and uh, no, it wasn't two weeks, sorry, it was two months after I got into vaping, uh, I got into the bully smoker, uh, I did a kind of review which is lost in the archives of time, and so I decided uh, after seeing a couple of posts on uh, Facebook uh, that, uh, you know, I'd go and have another visit and give it a go. Um, there'll be links telling you where to buy it. Uh, this is the, the Bully Smoker A2 TM, uh, which basically means it comes with a cartridge, a tank here, uh, which holds 1.8 mils. I should probably look at the website. I'm cheating. No, I'll have a look at the website. Uh, 1.8 mils. And when you buy this, it comes with glass fiber, heat and wire, two empty cartridges, and three stainless sleeves um, for the wick. Um, there are videos on the Bully Smoker website which are first rate. They'll show you how to set it up properly and pro possibly better than I'm going to show you. So I would suggest you go along and have a look. Um, like I say, I, I got this. I bought this second hand through Facebook from. Zalf Zalficar I'm probably saying your name wrong mate I'm really sorry uh, the lad he does some reviews of his own uh, which are great and uh, he was generous enough to send this to me uh, well sell it to me for a, an insanely cheap price uh, and uh, thanks for that um, but uh, enough of me whittering on, uh, let's get into showing you how to set it up and uh, what it's all about. Enjoy. Right, here we go. Uh, spot the dirty, uh, scratched and juice burned work top here. Uh, but uh, just ignore that. Right, everything you see here are the parts that you would get with the, the Bully A2TM. Now, apart from this bit, this big bit here, this is just a work base uh, that I'm using. Cyan Mods work base. Great bit of kit. Um, now, what happens is, basically this all sits together, kind of like this, and that sits in here. Like that. And this tank will hold 1.8 millimetres of e liquid if my memory serves me right. And what happens is there's a hole in the bottom of the tank. And basically, the spike, as it's referred to, will sit in the, like this. And what will happen is you will have a, a piece of wick, piece of wicking material that will be passed through this spike, that will go through the spike and into the tank so that uh, as you know it will be juice going down this bit of wick and it will drip onto your coil and mesh that you have here or coil and wick that you have here I should say and uh, then push the button coil heats up and uh, it will vaporize whatever juice you've got um, I'm trying to remember <laughs> what I used to do with these. I'm sure I used the uh, stainless steel mesh, silica, I think you even tried having a stainless steel mesh vertical going up through the spike and into the tank at one point. And, oh god, many crazy things. But uh, I think this time I'll just go for what I remember to be the stand-up setup. Um, so, let's get some materials. Okay, here we go. A uh, piece of stainless steel mesh because as standard, if I remember right, you're supposed to use a bit of silica wick, wrap a bit of stainless steel mesh around it, and use that as your wicking 
and you have to go through your spike. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, from memory, I'm pretty sure that I just used to use stainless steel by itself. I found that it worked better. Um, so I'm going to go down that route. Uh, obviously you can if you want, you can use a bit of wick, uh, silica wick wrapped with uh, stainless steel mesh if you want to go down there. So I'll take that out of the way just now. And I've got my piece of, I think this is 3mm. Um, I think I used to use 2mm back in the day, but I'm going to use 3mm today. And uh, we'll grab a screwdriver from somewhere. And I'll just undo the two terminals at the top, give myself some room to work with. And uh, normally, I think I would double it over, um, like so. But I, I'm going to. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to triple it. So I'm going to take this and fold it like that. So I've got three pieces. My, my reason for doing this is it just means that it's going to hold more juice. Um, well, that, that's the hope anyway. So I've got a bit of point to can fold here. And uh, I've already flamed this to take the tension out of it. So I've run a, a, a lighter or whatever over it to take the heat out. So it's not, you know, it doesn't keep springing back to how it was before. And now I'm just going to wing it here and just possibly make a right dog's dinner of this. Uh, one, two, three, four wraps there. I hope I've got four. So there we go. Um, Focus in there. Four wraps. And then all I'm going to do is just sit this in between the. Hmm. Can I get this closer somehow? I wonder. Let's get this. Let's 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 do this. Let's pop that one there. Uh, it doesn't give me a lot of room to work with, but it means you get to see things better. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do is pop the two wires in between there. And tighten them down. Um, so, excuse me while I... Uh, I, I foot it about for just two seconds. I'm going to... I think I'll take this one round the outside because it's the wires actually coming over the top in this. And I'll do it round the inside. There we go. That's in there. Tighten this down. And it looks like I'm just going to have three wraps because of the way I've done this. Hmm, possibly not good. Resistance might be a little bit too low. But, hey, living the edge, that's uh, what it's all about. The only thing is, if the resistance is too low, it's going to, you know, heat up a lot quicker and vaporise the juice a lot quicker. Uh, and because of the way this wicks, you've got the danger of, you know, it might not be able to keep up, so... But once you've done that, you just kind of like pull this on top, like so. There we go, we're, we're, we're up there on top. Hopefully you can see that okay. And I'll just uh, make sure these coils, uh, for all there are, uh, are spaced out. I, I would really, uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, for most folk I would suggest four or five wraps uh, rather than three like I've just done here. Um, and now I'm just going to, if my snips are working, cut them off. I 
and then because of the way this fits on, you know, you're going to have to, well, from memory, uh, snip your, or cut your wick. Uh, get a decent pair of scissors here. I'm going to cut it up the way I can, like a 45 degree angle, or not even 45. You'll see once I'm, I'm done here, once the finished product. That's something like that. Probably untidying, and all the experts out there will be going, my god, look at the state of that. Uh, and I don't blame you either. Right, let's, uh, let's find ourselves a, a little battery mod. That I can pop this onto. Uh, this is a 69 mod running in 18350 mode. There we go, she's heating up. Right, I think. Let's pop a little bit of juice on here. Excellent. Excellent. Right, let's get this out of the way. Clear the deck of tools. Now, what we have to do is get something that's going to sit right above this and then into the tank and carry the juice down for us onto this wick. So that's the next step. Um, now, I've got a, you know, I've not even measured this or anything. I'm just, I'm absolutely winging it. So I reckon I should get away with that. Actually, what length is this? This is this is so unprofessional. But uh, you know, that's you know, that's 24 millimeters in size uh, and height, and and that's what I'm going to use is 24 mil in height. So I'll just square this off. Uh, now, width-wise, uh, once again, I'm guesstimating. Uh, I think I'll go for about, just looking at the size of it, I'll go for 20. I'm going to go for uh, 20 millimeters in width. Uh, he says, then just cutting it wherever he wants. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, Right, so what you would normally do is you would take a bit of wick like this and you would sit it inside this and then roll it. Try to roll it, come on Todd. And you would roll that up tight. So you'd have something like this, you know, a bit a lot tighter and uh, this would then pass through this. But uh, I'm just going to go for a stainless steel mesh. Um, uh, what to do is, it's just, I normally flame it before I start, but I'm just going to roll this up. Trying to get it as tight as I can. Uh, the whole time you're rolling it, you should be offering it up to the spike. And you want it so that it's it's not going to fall right through. There is a bit of resistance there. So that it can almost like remember its height, if you like. Um, right. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to give this a wee, just a quick torch. Not I'm not going to burn the living daylights out of this. Cool down. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Right. 
Now, take this, well, I should really take this off the mod. I'll put the, the button in the lock position so I can't burn myself like I usually do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the spike on, spike section on, screw it up. Take this, pass it through, and I'm going to push it, or twist it, as I'm pushing down, or hopefully, hopefully do that. That should be going in further than that, shouldn't it? Maybe that's far enough. Hmm. Do you know what it is? I'm wondering why it's not going down further. It's because I've got the uh, three, well, if you like, three pieces of three mil there. So it's, uh, it's not going down as far as it usually does. So what I'm going to do is push it down till I feel it, it's actually making contact with the coil in here. It's actually sitting on it. Um, now, because of the length of this, I don't feel that has to be quite as long as that. In fact, this doesn't have to be that long at all. Uh, it doesn't have to sit right up into the tank. Uh, I'm going to actually half this. Or try to. Come on, Snips, do your job. Oh. There we go. I'm just going to... There we go. Hopefully you can see that okay. So the thing is, you want to push it down until it's sitting in the coil, and then kind of pull it up a tiny little bit. Just so it's not actually sitting right on the coil, uh, if you know what I mean. And then you can fill your tank up. Uh, from the hole here, and I've got one that I made earlier, and uh, screw the tank section on, like so, and then I'm going to push this and twist. Now, there's, there's different trains of thought here. Uh, you want to start it off and get it working. A lot of people, what they do is they say that you take the tank on and off about three times. Um, and that helps to get it going. Um, some people, what they do is they put their finger over the hole, the air hole here, and the, the souk. Uh, some people just do some dry souks without firing the mod. Uh, and it's all about getting that wicking started. Uh, and, and that's it, that's it built. Um, my god, that took forever and a day. Uh, but let's crack on. There we go. We're now sitting on uh, an SVD, variable voltage, variable wattage mod, because I thought that the, they kind of looked pretty cool together. Because uh, they are, let's face it, I mean, the, the bull is it's kind of a, it's a weird looking device. Uh, uh, as is the IT SVD, uh, that, which I really like. Um, now it's a 1.5 ohm coil, uh, which is okay, that's actually quite good. And I have a vape. Here we go. <laughs> Man, I'm not here. Put up to four volts. Just like I remember, I am.
Right. Here are the hard facts about the bullying. The bullying has broken a lot of people. A lot of people will get a hold of a bully, try setting it up, and uh, and get shot of it pretty quickly because it never wicks for them. Uh, they never get the flavour. They never get the the, the the balance just right. There is a definite art to setting a bully up. There, there is, and uh, and it's an art that I kind of struggled with when I first got it. And uh, it's nice to see that it's actually working uh, better than I remember. The flavour, compared to Genesis Rebuildables, but I'm, you know, uh, this is a Rebuildable. Um, it's kind of not what I'm used to. It's a little bit, it's not quite as intense. Uh, once you get it going, and once you get that whole balance thing set up right, they're great. They are brilliant. There's a lot of people that use these regularly as out and about type of addies and mods and things like that because quite simply they do work. Uh, when you get it set up right, they do work well. Um, I find that the main issue is the wicking. Uh, I always found that it's just a stainless steel mesh wick better, and possibly not a solid one, but with a, a, a straw wick with a slight hole in the middle. Um, I find that wicks a bit better, and uh, I, I, you know, give it a bash. If you get a chance to grab one, buy one and play with it. Um, they are, a, you know, they're an institution in their own right. <laughs> you know, these things have been going for a long time. They've been out there the whole time. And, uh, you know, I feel, myself included, we've kind of maybe forgotten about them. Um, but, uh, you know, having another dance with one, uh, I'm really enjoying it, really enjoying it. Um, and that's me. I have revisited the bully, and I'm glad that I did it. So, thanks to Max for reminding me, and uh, the man whose name I can't pronounce, thanks for selling it to me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, but uh, we'll catch up soon, guys. Cheers, mate. Bye.